last time on Star Trek Online. USS Vesta, first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp, five point nothing. She is a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. Take us out. One quarter impulse. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. And now, the continuation. Captain, I am picking up a distress call from the SS Breakeven. Audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrell. This is the SS Break Even. Our warp core is failing, and we are in need of assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir, sentence can't read anything in the vicinity of the Break Even. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrell. Number one. Let's discuss the situation. Hey, I assume I'm going... You heard the distress call number one. What do you think we should do? Uh, is this a test? Part of the training crew? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. It's strange that the transmission was audio only. Warp core emergency shouldn't affect communications. Good. What do you advise? Shields up. Better safe Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. Indeed, it could be a trap. I agree. Flores, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. Yes, sir. Get stuck on that fence every time. Rock, the break even should be in range. Give me an update. I'm getting some weird readings. I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Hang on! This vessel is now property of Captain Kadek of the IKS Chuck. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Rock, come in. What happened? Rock! R R Rock. Stop! Security is reporting disruptive fire in the transporter room, and Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us! What can I do? You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself, and any security team members you find. What about the enemy ship? We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Tag it out. Oh, right. Do I still have my phaser? I do. Security team. Let's unlock the door. God, I have to really think about inputting a code on a door, don't I? Phaser rifle. Yes, please. Ah. I need to equip it. Yes. Okay. Right. Enjoy. This. This way. This. This way. I don't. Oh, alright. Oh, I needed to swap weapons, that's why. I'm stupid. I didn't read. Damn, he's rude. I took 
the items. They are mine. Oh, hull breach. Well, at least we lost a Klingon. Uh, yeah. That was there. Okay. This way. Which is the way I was going to begin with. Okay. They don't know I'm here. Oh, God. This shuddering is really getting on my nerves. Okay, how are you, Rog? You alright? Okay. Am I on my own? I don't, I don't have a security team with me. Where's that whole breach? Oh, I do. There you are. Ah, Klingon. I will surprise you. God, this shuddering, vibrating is really getting on my nerves. Could you stop shooting the shit, please? Number one, we're doing our best to cripple this Klingon Marauder, but I need your help. Time to show off that academy training. Well, if I was an engineer, I could improve the ship's structural integrity field. If I was a science officer, I could reinforce the ship's shields. But I'm a tactical officer, so I know how to fight. you apparently. Phasers, pistols are much better DPS, although a lower range. Something that I have noticed. And oh, I didn't get to vaporize him. Uh, reach the door. That's pretty cool. Go down. I'm glad you can shoot through people, because otherwise that would make this very annoying. And I wasted my sniper shot. Oh, there were two of them there, that's why. Okay. Who's power to aft weapons? Out of forward phases. And presumably the other one is photon torpedoes. Get always stuck on the fences. Photon torpedoes, I assume. Boost power to torpedo warheads. That's not how torpedoes work. Number one, we've got injured up here, and the Klingons could send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Y you mean another boarding party, Go right? Go see to the bridge. We will secure this area. Okay. Oh, I didn't even realize this is a torpedo bay. What kind of torpedo bay has... A torpedoes loading on both sides. Oh, I hear Klingons already. Oh, he transported him away. Eat my ass. Oh, really? You stop that. Alright. What are we going to do now? I don't heal cadet. I owe you both. Good to know. Get fences. I can't do anything for you, apparently. Neil Cadet. Vulcan Lady. Incoming transmission from the Klingons! Put it on screen. This is Captain Kayak of the IKS Chart. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of finding us or defeating us. Your choice is simple. Surrender! Or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. Mm. 
No. Perhaps your captain will change your mind. Order your crew to surrender, Captain, or I will blow them out of the sky. It's your choice, Captain. Do you want these children to die? Very well. Number one. You are now the captain of the ship. Your orders. Your orders are to lock onto my combat and fire! Oh, well, I. Uh, mm. Alright. A ship of cadets and pretty much nothing else. Make me proud. I just met you. Uh, you're saying this as though you're like a leading figure in my we life. We target lock, Captain. Then by all means, fire. He's already dead. One torpedo. One torpedo. Against a Negvar class. Direct hit! Casuals on all decks! Shields! Shields! Fire all weapons! Weapons and shields are offline! Ah! and begin repairs! We've lost their signal! What now? Where, you. There you are. Hello. We... We survived. But the captain... Captain Taggart knew what would happen. And he gave the order anyway. The ultimate sacrifice. One that we all might be called to make someday. He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. And remember him. That's the training... Crew's done, I guess. We lost the captain. Bridge officer, I will change nothing, actually, because I kind of like that how it is. Oh, look at that. They recently actually remodeled the Miranda class, the Constitution class, as well. In the game, and it looks amazing compared to how it used to look, which was very simple. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. Okay, maybe we should send out a distress signal. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. Well, keep trying. Not about the Klingon She's ship. still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Damage report? Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. What about the freighter? Hailing the break-even now, Captain. Oh, um, hello, Starfleet. No hard feelings, right? I had to send that distress signal. If I didn't, that crazy Klingon was going to blow my ship into space junk. Uh, of course. And, um, because Starfleet's always ready to help and all, uh, could you help me repair my ship? Uh, I'm grateful for all you've done to save my ship and cargo already. But the sooner I can get out of here, the sooner I'll be safe from KDEC. Yeah, sure. Fine. Let's, uh, help him. Helm, full stop. Uh, I've okay. stopped us this time, sir. But from now on, you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the ship. Okay, fine. Scan. That is not why the... Okay, whatever. Looks like she just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Oh, good for them. 
Thanks. We'd help you if we could. But I just don't see any profit in that, you know? Oh, thanks! Jeez. I don't see any profit in that, you know? Well, looks like we're on our own. At least they said thank you, I guess. About that cloaked ship full of Klingons? Zarva's dealing with the Warp Corp, but until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Klingon battlecruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Well, it's jamming the communications. Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Tevrel has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the ambush. I, I recommend that we destroy yeah. the jamming satellites. We'll be able to get a call out to Starfleet then. Second one. I haven't forgotten about hey. you. Think your ship can take a couple more games. Probably not. Long-range but let's communications see. are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? Y yes, do it. That Klingon ship took some real damage. I'll bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. Huh. Okay. Understood. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. Meh. Got it. I can trace the plasma signature right to the source. Ooh. Okay, that I'll send the good. source of the plasma signature to navigation. <laughs> it will show up on the map. Excellent. Useful impulse to travel to the source. Okay, it's pretty it's far out, there. sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This yeah. will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Okay. I can make your death swift. Oh, shut up. For, there we go. B mark tutorial. I'm fine with that, though. I understand how that works. It's like that. See? Yeah. Oh. Alright. Where'd you go? There you is. Firing. I'm not really sure where I'm firing from. Think you can catch me? Go ahead and try! Done fine. Incoming transmission, sir. It is from Starfleet. Hey. This is Captain Volok of the USS Renown. Do you require assistance? Uh, yes. We uh, ambushed. A Klingon captain would have to be very bold to travel this far into Federation territory. Where we, is Captain Taggart? Uh, yeah, he's not here anymore. And did you follow his orders? Yes. So. I take it you are in command now? Yes. Very well. We will escort your ship to Earth Space Dock. What, what about the ship, though? And if he reveals his position, he will be dealt with accordingly. Until then, you are to set a course for our position. Renown, out. Really? Okay, so you couldn't be bothered to come here. Okay. Uh chase camera really annoys me too. I'm gonna have to sort that out at some point. Alright, we're here. At least they had shields up. Your captain begged for his life before I killed him. No, you didn't. I just saw it. Accepting danger is part of being a Starfleet officer. You have learned this lesson well. I tire of this! It's time my house will avenge me! You are now going to escort you back to Earth Space Dock. But first we must inform the USS Kittimer that... One moment. 
My communications officer informs me that we are unable to contact the Kittimer. We will proceed to their coordinates to determine if they require assistance, and your ship will accompany us. I hereby grant you a field promotion. This will give you the proper authority over your crew and final decision-making ability for your ship until we reach Earth space dock and report to Admiral Quinn. Oh, uh, okay, thank you. Yeah, I got a new bridge officer. Sex space. Engage. And there we have the end of part two. If you'd like to see more, leave a comment, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time.